Watches and Wonders, the epicentre of horological innovation. Every year, this is where Rolex, Cartier, Tag and everyone else come to show us what they've been up to for the past 12 months. Among the sea of new releases, though, one name stood out. Not just for its prestige, but this time for pushing mechanical watchmaking to its limits and into a new era. At this year's event, Rolex introduced the Landweller, a completely new line inspired by the Oyster Quartz, and with it, something even more revolutionary, the Dynapulse Escapement. You may be asking what the escapement is in a watch and why this matters, and if you are, the escapement controls the release of energy from the mainspring, the power source, to the gear train, one tick at a time. It regulates the motion so the gears and ultimately the hands of the watch move at a consistent rate. So. I'd say it's quite important. The mainspring unwinds and provides the power. The power is transmitted through the gear train. The escapement takes that steady flow of power and divides it into precise intervals, usually controlled by the balance wheel. Each little tick or beat that you hear is the escapement, allowing the gear train to move forward that little bit more. So to change what's going on here, I'd say is actually quite important. While I recently criticised the launch of this new watch, I didn't talk to the movement inside. I needed to get my head around it a little, and when I put that video out, I was rushing to get on the trend, I would admit. But Rolex's new movement is exciting, and a clear sign that the brand's intentions are to move further up market. Designed entirely in-house, years in the making, and unlike anything the Crown has released before, the Dynapulse escapement shows us that innovation can still be made in the craft of watchmaking. The Landweller marks a fresh chapter for Rolex, not a submariner, not an explorer, but something purpose-built to debut new technology, just like the Oyster Quartz before it, that the design emulates. Its design is controversial, sure, like Marmite, you either love it or hate it. No matter what you think of the piece, though, under the dial is the real innovation, the Calibre 7135. The Dynapulse escapement is Rolex's answer to the quest for greater efficiency, longevity and precision. It replaces the traditional Swiss lever escapement with a patented dual escape wheel system. These wheels work in sequence, not simultaneously, resulting in smoother impulse delivery and less energy loss with a claimed efficiency of 30%. Don't quote me on that though, that's what I've been seeing online. Rolex isn't alone in embracing silicon, but it's taken the concept further than ever before. Silicon is anti-magnetic, highly temperature resistant and requires no lubrication. With the Dynapulse escapement, Rolex uses silicon not only for the hairspring, a technology it calls Siloxi, but also for the escape wheels and impulse rocker. These components are etched using femtosecond lasers, allowing for microscopic precision and surfaces so smooth they reduce wear to almost nothing. This means longer service intervals, better timekeeping over time, and a mechanical movement that is built for the long haul. Customers expect more and more from mechanical watches in terms of performance and reliability. Traditional materials, just quite frankly, can't keep up. Silicon, though, doesn't corrode, it doesn't magnetise, and now we're moving towards longer time between services. What I'd suggest we're working to here is a mechanical watch with the ease of wear that one would expect from quartz. Although, I'd argue we're already there with Grand Seiko's spring drive. With Rolex launching an integrated bracelet watch, they're clearly taking shots at Patek, Vacheron and Audemars Piguet. So as a result, this movement is trying to offer everything that one of the Holy Trinity watchmakers movements do as well. Every aspect of the Dynapulse's escapement is manufactured in-house, a statement of engineering intent and the relentless pursuit of perfection. The Dynapulse escapement may only be a single component in the Calibre 7135, but it signals something much bigger. Rolex is evolving, not incrementally, but fundamentally. With this launch, the brand has shown it's ready to rewrite the rules of what a mechanical watch can be, and what a Rolex is. The Landweller, the Dynapulse escapement, they're not just another Rolex. It is a Rolex that changes everything.